Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm taking you with me to the gym. I'm gonna show you my chest and shoulder day that I just did a couple days ago. Um, this is, before I was a personal trainer, this is basically how I learned to work out and to weight train. I would watch people's videos on YouTube and just follow along. And if I didn't really feel like going to the gym, it actually also served as a kind of motivator. I'd watch someone's video and then be like, okay, let's go do this. Um, and I just wanted to make this video and do like a voiceover instead of doing a whole vlog. So I thought this would be easier and more informational and easier to follow along in the gym. You can obviously take this into the gym with your YouTube app and you can watch it in the gym and pause it and then do the exercise and just kind of follow along. Um, if you like this style of video, please like it. That way I know it also helps more people see this video. So it helps out just by clicking the like button. It makes like a huge difference. Um, so if you could do that, I'd really appreciate it. And let's get into this workout. Okay, so the first exercise that I pretty much always start with on a chest day um, is bench press. And that's because it takes quite a bit of effort, strength, and energy. And so I wanna start off with this exercise um, right at the beginning of my workout when I have the most energy. And um, I start off with the bar. I will use the just the bar. Um, and I will do about 12 to 15 reps for one set to warm up, to kind of stretch out a little bit. And then I'll do a second warm up set with 10 pound plates on each side. Um, and I'll go ahead and do 12 to 15 reps of that for like a second warm up. It's a little bit more difficult with that weight, but still I would consider it a warm up set. Then I move on to working sets. So I went ahead and did working sets here. Um, I think this is like 105 pounds. Um, if not, I'll correct it, but um, I went ahead and did four working sets um, at this weight. And I usually aim between, depending on the day what I'm trying to do, I'm aiming for around six reps here. Um, I, especially for my compound movements, I'm looking for strength um, and power. And so I'm looking to increase that strength. I don't wanna be doing like 15 reps of in my bench press for my working sets. Um, and that's because I'm just trying to build muscle there and I'm trying to build strength. I'm also going to note the form that you should have during bench press. There should be a curve on your back a little bit. So in other words, you're not, your back is not completely flat on the bench. I'm sure some of you have seen some examples of people who are benching and they have crazy arches going on. You don't need to like worry about looking like you're going through an exorcism or anything like that. Um, and as you guys can see for me, I do have somewhat of an arch. The, I guess how dramatic the arch is is gonna depend somewhat on your body type. Um, if you have a bigger butt, you know, and like a smaller waist, it's gonna look more dramatic. Um, so yeah, don't worry about it too much. Just know that your back should not be flat completely. Um, your shoulders should be pressed back into the bench and pulled back. And this is just to protect you. This is um, the correct form to keep your body safe. You don't wanna hurt yourself. So just make sure that you're keeping good form, especially as you start lifting heavier. After bench, I went into overhead press. Again, this is a bigger lift, it's a compound movement. You wanna have the most energy and strength to perform this as well as you possibly can. So um, this is the second exercise that I pretty much always do on a shoulder and chest day. Um, and, and so here I went ahead and did two warm up sets with just the bar. You can see here that I am doing a warm up set and I'm just stretching out basically this is basically, you don't wanna go straight into the weight. For those you don't know, you don't wanna go straight into a heavier weight. You wanna work your way up a little bit. Today for my overhead press, I was doing four reps for four sets at 85 pounds. Um, I've worked my way quite a bit up to this. Actually, for those of you who don't know, I'm currently in a bulk, so I am currently trying to gain strength and muscle. Um, and so basically I am working on my working sets. I was doing 85 pounds here. Um, for four sets and I'm trying to increase to maybe like six reps before I move up again. As always, make sure you're picking a weight that is safe for you. Um, during this movement, you should make sure that you are pushing your bar over your head and back. It shouldn't be just like in front of you. The bar should not be like sitting in front of you. It should be like over and back. And I can't see my arms, but if you guys watch the 
video clip, you'll notice that I'm going over and back straight over my head. Um, your, uh, your glutes should be engaged, your core should be engaged. And some of these things may not make a total sense, but just keep working on the movement and eventually some of these things will start to click. I was lifting heavier, like I said, so I was in the four reps. You may want to go closer if you're like beginner, you're kind of learning. You might want to go closer to eight reps or 10 reps. Those of you who follow me on Instagram and who've also seen my workout videos before probably already know that I am a huge fan of working out abs within my workouts. For me, I've seen the most increase in my core strength and just like core definition uh, by doing this. And the reason why is that you are engaging your core, you're firing it up from the beginning, and then you're keeping it activated throughout your whole workout. So you can see me doing some hanging leg raises. Those are one of my staples, one of my favorite workouts for core. Um, I think it's one of the best things you can do um, to not only strengthen your core, but also define them and develop them. So that way you have, you know, a defined core. If you really want to have like a six pack or you want to have more ab definition, this is one to add into your routine. I do about four sets and I did four sets of about, I'd say 15 reps on average. It kind of depends on how long I can hold on for. If you cannot do hanging leg raises, you can start with hanging knee raises. So tuck in your knees and lift your knees up instead. And if those are still too difficult for you right now, um, Roman chair lifts also work well. So basically you're on that Roman chair um, and you can do knee raises or leg lifts there. Moving on to the first accessory for chest, I went ahead and did dumbbell flies. For dumbbell flies, I was using 20 pound dumbbells and I did four sets of, I think, 10 to 12 reps. It's a nice stretching movement. You should really be able to feel it in your pecs as you're going in and pulling up. You should really be able to feel it. Again, that's another thing of like the muscle mind connection is really being able to feel which muscle you are supposed to be activating and working. All right, so then I went ahead and did lateral raises for my shoulders. Um, I actually did drop sets. So I started off with 20 pounds for lateral raises, 20 pound dumbbells, and I did about eight to 10 reps. Then I went ahead and went down to 15 pound dumbbells and then 10 pound dumbbells. Really burns out those shoulders, really recommend. I did the same thing when I went ahead and did dumbbell shoulder press. For shoulder press, I went ahead and started with 25 pound weights and then I went down to 20 and then 15. Um, if I were doing just the same weight the whole time, I would probably do around 30, 35, but because I was doing more reps, um, I'm doing about eight to 10 reps each at each weight. So I'm doing 25 pounds for eight to 10 reps and then right after going into the 20 pound weights, eight to 10 reps, and right after going to the 15 weights. So it's a drop set, you don't really stop in between to rest, you just keep going, which is what makes it really burn. So I did the same thing for shoulder press and I really recommend trying it. Okay, then I did another ab exercise and I think these are just called like in and outs. That's what I've always called them. I do them on a bench and I like adding weight to them. Adding weight to your ab movements is so crucial if you are trying to not only strengthen your core, but if you're trying to get ab definition, you need to be adding weight and making the exercises more difficult. If you're just doing crunches and you're not ever making them more difficult, you're not really going to see much of an improvement or growth in that area. So um, I added a 10 pound plate to my legs and I went ahead and pulled my legs in and then let them back out. And you can go ahead and use your arms to support you if you know you need that extra balance. And if you're feeling like, you know what, I think I can do it without the support, then you can pull your arms up and you know make it a little more intense that way. I went ahead and did three sets of this ab movement and I was aiming for about 15 to 20 reps each set. And to get towards the end of the workout, I did some incline push-ups. I'm really trying to improve my endurance for my push-ups. I was doing about, I would say, 10 to 12 reps per set. I did four sets of push-ups. And right now, my favorite finisher for chest and shoulders is a ball toss or ball throw. I grab a weighted medicine ball and throw it up against the wall. And I really enjoy that. It really burns. It's a really great way to target, you know, your upper chest or even your shoulders, depending on how you throw the ball. 
If you're throwing it straight forward, you're going to work out your chest more. If you're throwing it straight up, it's gonna work out your shoulders a little bit more. Um, and I like the fact that you can also add a squat to it. Um, if you wanna get a little bit more movement in your whole body, you can do some squats down at the bottom as you catch the ball. Um, and I just did two really difficult leg days in a row before this. So I was mostly just trying to focus on actually just throwing it up and hitting my shoulders. I went ahead and did four sets of this and I was aiming for about 15 reps each set. And that is the whole workout, guys. It is a really good one. I really enjoyed it. It really activated my chest and my shoulders. Everything was burning, um, which sounds bad, but it means that you're doing something good, really. Um, so I really recommend you guys try this video out. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know your thoughts on it. If you try it out or if you're going to try it out, let me know in the comments below. If you like this style of video and you like just my straight up instructions along with my workout, let me know that way I can make more. And if you guys can like this video, it helps out a lot. It allows more people to see this video. It helps the algorithm a little bit for me. And if you're not subscribed, of course, press the subscribe button, hit that notification bell. So when my next videos come out, you can see it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, I'm on